Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are continuing with Resident Evil the board game today. We are moving on from the Crypts the B scenario where we fought Lisa Trevor to Laboratory A. So, in this scenario the characters must gain access to the laboratory's power area. If each character is on the power area tile, the players can choose to successfully complete the scenario at any time. If there are any enemies, you skip step 6, which is the healing. Special rules, x-ray sequence. At the start of this scenario, shuffle the puzzle track cards and deal them face down. I'll do that in just a moment. Uh, a character in the same square as the objective token can spend an action to attempt to guess the sequence of the puzzle cards. The player declares the order from left to right, then flips the cards. If the sequence was correct, leave each puzzle card face up. If the sequence, sequence was incorrect, the puzzle is reset. Shuffle all four puzzle cards and deal them face down in a row. Oh god. Extra examination. A character in the same square as a crest token can spend an action to look at the puzzle card in the position indicated below, then return it face down. So the wind is look at the first card in the row, sun is the second card, moon is the third card, and star is the fourth card. Lab doors. If each puzzle card is face up, discard any puzzle locked door cards on the playing area. If an encounter card is revealed that shows a puzzle locked door and each puzzle card is face up, don't place the locked door card on the playing area. Safe Haven. A character on the power area tile does not have to draw a card during the tension phase. Item A deck. We have some item A cards I need to put in. Uh, item B deck. I need to do too. Well, I'm really not with it. Tension deck. I have already done the tension deck and I've already done the encounter deck. And we do have 10 exploration cards. Standalone we don't do and then after completing this scenario, you add lab B to the map. Okay, so. Uh, well, I'll do. Pop that to the side. And we'll get into uh, characters. We have Jill. She's using a handgun, a grenade launcher. Oh, well, that's a bit out of focus. There we go. A dagger, some grenade rounds, and a lighter. We have Richard with a handgun, the assault shotgun, a dagger, some shotgun shells, and a lighter. We have Wesker. He's got a handgun, a shotgun, a dagger, some handgun bullets, and a lighter. And we have Chris with a handgun, a flamethrower, and a dagger. Before we do get into things, what I have done is removed all of the blue herbs from the A deck because we no longer have the web spinners or the snakes in the encounter deck and nothing else deals poison to us, so I've removed those and I've also added the, the Chimera which apparently are more stronger than the Hunters which is kind of ridiculous <laughs> and they, uh, they do have the ability to kill you in one hit I don't remember them doing that in the, in the game uh, I could be wrong but I usually in the in the game I usually use Barry's Magnum to blow them away. So, yeah, and I'm surprised the hunters haven't been removed because you don't see them in the lab in the game either. But oh well. But yes, we have the uh, the Chimera who have four health and move three spices, and the hunters only move two spices and have three health. Yeah. Okay. So uh, with the Chimera, they have vent crawler ability at the start of the reaction phase. If this enemy isn't on the same or a link tile to a character, remove it from the playing area. Then search the encounter deck discard pile for a card with the Chimera spawn entry and shuffle it into the deck. So yeah, that's that. And just quickly uh, grab the Chimeras out of the director's cut box. There we go. Nice. So let us. We begin. So up first is Chris. No, it isn't. It's Jill. So I'll quickly adjust this. And I... Oh, wow. I'm really not with it because I forgot to put two zombies down. <laughs> and they go. One goes there, and the other one goes there. So Jill is going to move forward one. Open this door for two. Step out for three, and see. I'm just going to zoom out quickly. Still haven't even put everyone's weapon dials on their boards. <laughs> ah, New Year blues. And I'm just going to quickly uh, give these a shuffle. It's really awkward when you when you only have a small amount of cards to shuffle. <laughs> okay, there we go. Put that one there, 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 and there. Okay, so Jill moved, opened the door, moved out, and now she's going to shoot this zombie. She's going to use a handgun. 15 down to 12. Pop that, actually, I'll pop that back on the board because it's her last action. And she gets three blue. 
pull the dice tray, sorry, dice tower down here. Here we go. And that's nothing. So that zombie's going to react to there. This one reacts to here. End of turn reactions. There, and we draw an attention card. It is all clear. I'm just going to grab my card holder. It is now Richard's turn. Richard is going to move. One, open this door for two. Um, do I want to walk out into this hell storm that's about to happen? We have a red, red encounter tile. Um, three, yeah, why not? Three encounter cards. First one. Oh, I picked up two there. Is after drawing all entries, replace the closest corpse with a crimson head. Oh my goodness. Um, it wouldn't be, let me just zoom that out, it wouldn't be this one here, because this isn't linked, it'd be around this way. But because we haven't been that way, I, I wouldn't class that as connected, because it, it'd spawn, and then it'd just be stuck there until this has been explored. So it'd be this one down here by Chris and Jill, so we'll replace that corpse with a crimson head. Here we go, Mr Jazz hands himself. Yeah. And our second is ignore oh, ignore any other encounter cards drawn with this card. Never mind, okay. We'll, we'll draw the third one, see what that was. The character's action phase and it ends immediately. So we ignore those. And then we place this here. <laughs> and then we shuffle these back in. Oh. Okay, so the and uh, the, 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 the Richard's action phase ending immediately doesn't go into effect. So that was one, two, three. Um, I can only go either up that way or that way because that way is blocked. So I'll open this door for four. Check out, see what's down here. Okay, so draw an attention card. Um, zombies aren't reacting. They're not linked. Fever assault. So during the next player's turn, increase enemy movement values by one. Uh, what I am doing, I am putting these in upside down so I can see the special symbols at the top rather than me having to keep picking it out and having a look. So I'm going to put that token over there. Put that door back there. And there it is, uh, Chris's turn. Okay, so Chris's first action is going to discard a kerosene token to reload the flamethrower by three rounds. So it's going from two to five. There we go. Second action is going to move... Move to there. I'm just going to pop this kerosene token over here. Uh, third action, he will use the flamethrower. Five down to four. And he gets two blue. Uh, let me just reach over my other arm instead. There we go. Okay, so here we go. That is a push. That's a double push, so that zombie's dead. So these two are going to react. Crimson heads move one. Um, that was his third action. Fourth action, he'll move out next to Jill. I'm going to change the door positioning so it's opened inside. Uh, so they're going to react now. End of turn reactions. And then we're drawing a tension card. Oh, I, I, uh, uh, they move an extra space. Sorry. So, oh, hang on. Let me rewind. So that's third action. So they would have gone one, two. One, two, and then fourth action. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, I'll just move out here. And then they're going to jump into here. There's no special symbols. Attention cards. So now we draw attention card. Oh, it's all clear. So we do have a, an asterisk special symbol, which doesn't do anything for the zombies or the crimson heads. Oh, yes, they do. They, uh, they get to perform two reactions. When it, uh, 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 let me just a uh, blood scent. If the top card in the tension deck discard pile is either the, the cross or the asterisk, this enemy moves one extra square during the reaction phase. Okay. So it's now Wesker's turn. Okay, Wesker's going to go one, two. He's going to go three into here. I'm just going to quickly set this up. Okay, Wesker explored into this section. We have our sun token here so we get to choose i'll, I'll uh, explain that when we 
reach this, but we are drawing an encounter card. And I think I might need to move all this over at some point because there's a puzzle door here. <laughs> Depending on the size of the room, I might have to move everything over. So, uh, one encounter card. Oh, threw that a bit too hard. There we go. We are getting two zombies. Um, I'll pop that there. I'll get my other card holder out in a moment. So, two zombies are going here. Munching on a corpse or something in the corner. Oh, you disturbed us. So, uh, Wesker's got an action left. Um, I'm going to shoot at these with the shotgun. Down to three. He gets two blue. And move that uh, over. I'll hold it instead. Here we go. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a damage symbol, but that's okay. So, one of those is dead. And another one reacts. He's reacting to there. He's dead. Um, I think they actually get to move twice because that lasts for an additional turn. So that zombie's actually on Wesker space. I'm just going to switch the position of this door. There we go. Okay, so that zombie's dead. This one reacts twice into that space. End of Wesker's turn. He gets to dodge. Well, he doesn't get to, he has to. Um, no, asterisk symbol on a zombie is nothing. It's the star symbol, uh, X symbol we need, so here we go. This guy got his dodge. Oh, yeah, that was a double dodge. <laughs> he got it. And we draw an attention card. It is all clear. And it's another asterisk. Wow, okay. I don't know how many asterisk um, symbol special um, tension cards there are, but we just had two in a row. <laughs> So we are back now to Jill. Jill is definitely going to use her grenade launcher. So let's quickly grab the dial. We only have two rounds in it, but Jill is rocking some sh um, shells. Grenade shells? Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. K Clunk down to one. We need, we need at least a push. And that is a damage. That's dealing three damage to both of these. They're dead. Oh wait, it doesn't deal um, it doesn't deal decapitation. Does that mean? Yeah, we're getting corpses. I think I've been playing this wrong, you know, for the last few videos. So we're getting two corpses. Jill's second action. She's going to burn both corpses. Third action. Fourth action to there. Uh, nothing's alive on the tile to react, so we draw an attention card. It is. All clear. I think the camera could see that then. And um, we're moving back over to Richard. Richard's going to give Wesker a helping hand. He's going to shoot this zombie with three bullets. And um, dice tower. Um, shall I zoom out? You can just about see it there, I think. Yeah. Here we go. Three bullets. Uh, that's a double push. Oh dear. Okay. Um, Push it to there. That's 15 down to 12. Do that. And then I'm going to do it again for my second action. 12 down to 9. There you go. Uh, that's another push. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to leave my screen there on his own. I'm going to shut the door for three. <laughs> Actually, no, I won't. I'll leave it open because it's only going to react to there. And then I'll go 3, 4. Up this way. And the zombie's going to react. Um, and then it, it is uh, attention card time. Oh, treacherous footing. Not what you want in a room like this. I'll pop that on top of there. So anyone who starts their turn in this L toil can only have three actions. That sucks. But uh, we're back down to Chris. A uh, quick and easy one for Chris. He's going to go one, two, three, four. And then we draw an attention card. Uh, sinister echoes. Oh, okay. Uh, at least there's oh, there's only there's like a zombie there. But so we put four room tokens on this card. One, two, three, four. And every time we make an attack, we have to draw an encounter card. And at the end of everyone's turn, we discard a token. And this is back up to Wesker, who just so happens to have a zombie right next to him. 
and we don't really want to shoot. So Wesker's going to go one, oh, one, two to open the door, three to move in, and then four to close the door. Zombie's not reacting. We are removing a token, and then we are drawing a tension card. All clear. Oh, all clear. And then it's back down to Jill. Another nice easy one. One, two, three, four. Removing a token. Oh, what a shot. And we draw an attention card. It is all clear. We're moving back over to Richard. Okay, Richard is going to move one, two into here. I'm going to quickly set that up. Okay, we've ventured into a new section. Unfortunately, we have a red exploration token, so we are drawing three encounter cards. This is now connected. Um, right, three encounter cards before I forget. First one being... Spawners on me. Search the encounter discard pile for any Cerberus cards. There are none. So we're going to zombie right there next to Richard. Our second card is a... oh, a Cerberus. <laughs> we could grab a Cerberus. Pop you, oh, pop you there. And then our third one is... After resolving all sworn entry cards, drawn with this card, replace the closest corpse with a zombie. So this, this zombie is actually getting up. The zombie. Okay. That wasn't too bad, I suppose. That was uh, one, two, um, three, four, back out. I don't want to do any shooting because I still have two tokens left on Sinister Echoes. So, reactions. Zombie's going to react. This zombie down here that the Wesker left behind is going to react. And the dog is going to react to there. We are removing a token. And, ah, oh, hang on. Um, one, two, three, because of treacherous footing. Uh, tension card. It is all clear. I think you can see that. You can. And we are back down to Chris. Another nice and easy one for Chris. Oh, actually, not really because this is an orange. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, we'll go in. Three. We join two encounter cards. One is a hunter. <laughs> oh dear. Um, before I grab the hunter out of the box, I'll draw the second one, which is a second hunter, apparently. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> okay, right, grabbing the hunters out of the box. There's one, there's two. Uh, Chris has one action left. He's, uh, there's no special symbols on the attention cards, so I am going to move back out for four. That means both the hunters are going to jump onto here and push Chris and Jill both off. So when it comes to Jill's turn, it's not, uh, not too bad. But um, we do lose that last token now on Sinister Echoes, so that is gone. Uh, the hunters do move two spaces, don't they? Yes, they do. It's the Chimera that moves three. Okay, tension card. Reanimate, reclaim, uh, closest corpse, uh, there are none, so we draw two additional cards. Uh, mission update, draw a mission card. It is, oh, emergency, draw cards until this character finds three or more clues or abandons the mission. If this character died or abandoned the mission, increase the mansion danger level by one. Okay, so we are going to send, I can't remember everyone's health, I think, uh, I think Rebecca has the highest health out of everyone that's available. I remember Barry's on danger from the Lisa fight. Kenneth's, uh, I believe Kenneth's on caution or one from danger. So we're going to take, we're going to take Rebecca. So I'm going to pop those back into there and we'll move the camera over and do the mission. Okay, so. Draw cards until this character finds three or more clues or abandons the mission. If this character died or abandoned the mission, increase the mansion danger level by one. Okay, so we need to find three or more clues. First one is a wound. <laughs> right, so Rebecca is actually on fine, though she's been set out for a while. Second one is a clue and a wound, so that's two wounds and a clue. 
third one. A wound. So Rebecca's on one from, uh, she starts on fine, so one from caution, caution, one from danger. Uh, right, here we go. That's a wound and a clue. So we need, well, okay, we need one clue, and we also die if we take another wound, so I'm actually going to abandon that. <laughs> so the mansion danger level is going up by one. So that means we are going up by one, so we are one, two, and three away from red. Okay, so we'll send Rebecca back into the reserve on danger. It's unfortunate. These get discarded. And this emergency gets shuffled back in to the deck because of that symbol there. So I'll quickly do that. And then discard that. That can stay there on the side. It is Wesker's turn. He's going to go one, two, spend an action on this for three. The sun token is the second card on the rope. Oh. The second card is the is actually the sun. <laughs> does, that, does it say leave it flipped up? Um, and then we turn it face down. Okay, so we know that the second card is the sun. So that was uh, one, two, three. Spend an action to do that, and I'm going to keep. I'll keep Wesker in here. No, nah, we'll move back. Okay, so four. Nothing's reacting. We are drawing attention card. It is. Smash the sunder. So this this is getting replaced with an archway. The archways are sat over the other side of the room. And we're spawning a zombie next to it. So we'll spawn a zombie here. And it is a special uh, cross symbol. So, we need to take those hunters out with Jill. So, Jill's first action, she's going to use her grenade rounds. So, we're loading the grenade launcher up to five, is it four points? Yeah, four points. So, we're going from one all the way up to five. Clunk, 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 clunk. So discard this, throw that over there to the side. Whoops, that went a bit too far. So, second action. Grenade down to four. Clunk. We get one red. I'm also going to roll the umbrella die with it because the hunters can deflect damage, apparently. Bullet shields. If we zoom that out, pull this down. So we want a damage icon, don't we? There's uh, on the grenade launcher, a push deals two damage. And the damage icon deals three. The hunters have three health. We're hoping for a damage icon and we're hoping not to get the umbrella symbol. Here we go. That's a six and a damage icon. I am extremely happy with that because both of those are dead. I tried to go for like the screeching noise and it came out as more like a, an inside burp. <laughs> so Jill's second action was to annihilate those hunters. Nice, so three and four into here. We're drawing a tension card. Cornered, so uh, one of the, the zombie that Wesker left behind got bored of waiting, come down the stairs mm. into here. Uh, where does it go? The closest, yeah, we'll do that. Automatic that way, it come down the stairs. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so it is now uh, Richard's turn. Unfortunately, Richard only has three actions. Let me just pop that red dice over there. I didn't need to. Um, so, we have this zombie here to deal with as well. So any shooting, these are going to all start reacting towards him. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the pistol. I've got an idea, I'm going to try and lure both of these onto my space and then use the assault shotgun to try and take them both out. I'm going to use the pistol, going from nine down to six. Oh, not five, six. You get three blue. If I get some pushes, that's nice. I can push my, push the zombie onto my space and then the dog can react. But I don't really want damage, which is unfortunate and weird. <laughs> uh, okay, that was a double push and a large dodge. So I'll push the zombie onto my space. My space. And then the dog's going to jump in as well. This zombie will react to here. 
Second action, I'm going to use the assault shotgun. Going from two down to one. We get one red. Oh, sorry, no, we get two red. Move these out of the way. Here we go. Uh, that's a crit. Oh, really? The crit only pushes? God damn it. So, I'm not going to push him. I'm going to leave him there. And then I'm going to do it again. That goes. The assault shotgun is now going down to zero. Here we go. Hey, damage and push. The damage icon deals splatter. So both of these are dead. <laughs> and the zombie would have reacted last time and this time. And Richard has zero actions. So that zombie is going to react right next to Richard. And we draw an attention card. All clear. Uh, back down to Chris. Chris is going to move one, two into this space with Jill, and then he's going to use his pistol. I've got two actions left. Uh, uh, one, two, yeah, I've got two actions, so I'm going to do this 15 down to 12. There we go. Um, that's a triple push, not what I wanted, but uh, I'll tell you what. One, two, three. Push the zombie to there, and then I'll do 12 down to 9. Oh, that's a that's a push and a damage icon. So we'll push the zombie to there, kill it off, and replace it with a corpse. See, it would have been better if that was my first roll, but oh well. Okay. Uh, nothing's reacting. We're drawing a attention card. I keep reaching over to the back. I'm so used to it being over there. All clear. And it is now Wesker's turn. Okay, so we know that the second card on the track is the sun. So Wesk is going to go one, two, three. He's going to shoot at this zombie for four with a handgun. Fifteen down to twelve. We get three blue and roll these into this section here. And that's nothing. Oh wow, okay, great. That was three dodges. <laughs> so the zombie's going to react into rigid space. And he's going to attack Richard. So Richard needs to roll a dodge. And he didn't roll a dodge. Richard's taking a wound. Of course he is. Thank you. Thanks, Wesker. Your true colours are starting to show in the lab. Hmm. Yes. Indeed. Distinguished. Okay. Attention card. Uh, keep quiet. Um, I'm going to zip my lip and speak to you in a bit. Okay, so supply cache. If you don't know what that is, you put five tokens on the card, and every kill or corpse you burn, you remove a token. When all five tokens have been removed, you each character gets to draw an AI item from the deck. So, Richard's turn. Oh, this zombie would have reacted too, just over here. So, Richard shot his shotgun, his pistol, and his shotgun, and then reaction, so the zombie would be there. Okay, Richard's turn. He's going to want to get out of this space. So he's going to shoot this zombie with the pistol. Six down to three. Oh, there we go. Six down to three. I'm going to pop that just there because I will use the pistol again. Here we go. Oh, I broke the wall. Here we go. That is a push. So I'll push the zombie to there. This one reacts to here. And I'll do it again for his second action. Three down to zero. And then here we go. That is, oh, that's a damage. 
Never mind. Um, I'll leave it there. Uh, do I want to leave it there? Yeah, I'll leave it there. So he's being killed off, and we are replacing him with a corpse. And this guy is going to step onto here. You killed my brother. And the third action, I can't do anything because I have no ammo left. So I'm just going to move one space away. And then this zombie is going to react to there. Okay. Now, we draw a... Oh, I've got a kill, so token removed. Draw an attention card. It is. No escape. Open the closest non lock closed door to the character, which would be this one. And there, oh, there we go. And it is back down to Chris. Nice and quick, although that zombie will get a reaction. One, two, three, four. Zombie's going to react. Zombie's actually going to attack Richard because of the tension card. So Richard needs to perform a dodge. He got the small dodge. I don't know if the camera can see that. Let me just move that into view. There we go. So Richard's fine. Uh, we're drawing a tension card. It is. Ugh. Right. Hunter's prey. <laughs> so we are getting a hunter spawning right here next to Chris. No idea where that hunter came from. He just appeared no out of nowhere suddenly. You killed my siblings. <laughs> okay, um, attention card was the hunter's prey, so it is Wesker's turn. I'm so used to moving the camera, I paused it and moved it around the other side of the table for some reason. <laughs> so Wesker's going to move out here for one. Um, he's got three actions left. So he's going to take a pot shot at this hunter with his shotgun, I think. Three down to two. He gets two blue. Two blue. Here we go, come on. Uh, that is, ooh, that's a damage. Okay, so we are rolling the black to see if that damage goes through or not. And it does, that's a five. Let me just move that down towards these two blue. There we go. So that hunter's taking a wound. Uh, that zombie's going to react onto Richard. And then Wesker's going to shoot at the... Hmm. Do I do it again? Yeah, I'll do it again. I'm more, I'm more terrified of the hunter than I am of the zombie, so... Down to one. I'll roll them all together. Rolling towards the card holder, so that's another damage, and it's a two on the blue, on the blue, two on the blue, two on the black. So that's another wound. Wesker has one action left. I'm going to do it again. So down to zero. Kind of burning through ammo, but at least we're getting some hunters out of the way. Come on, give me a push or a damage. Oh, are you kidding me? Two large dodges. Uh, right, so that hunter's going to jump onto Wesker's space. You shoot me, I kill you. I will kill you. Okay, so. Uh, it is the star, not the star, the cross. So the hunter is going to attack Wesker. And if he hits, it's going to deal three damage. Oh no, okay. Here we go. Uh, that's a medium dodge, that worked. Okay. Happy days. And then the zombie is going to attack Richard. Uh, Richard got his medium dodge and a damage. Richard's fine. And there's no more zombies around. We're drawing a tension card. It is all clear. And it is her... B -b 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 Jill's turn. Jill's just here, so she's going to go one, two, three. Damn it, I can't get to that hunter. Four to there. Um, hunter's going to attack Wesker. Uh, I need a medium dodge, I've got the medium dodge. Zombie's going to attack Richard. Uh, Richard got a large dodge, it's fine. And then it is attention card time. All clear. It is Richard's turn. <sighs> Great, okay. Uh, Richard is going to attempt to reload his shotgun, so Richard does need to perform a dodge. Uh, you got the large dodge, that's fine. So he reloads his shotgun by four. 
by four bullets. We will discard this. We know the assault shotgun by four. That was five, but yeah, four. Second action is going to shoot. Um, I'm going to shoot the the zombie in my space with the pistol. Actually, I've got no ammo in the pistol. Damn it! I'm going to shoot the uh, shoot the hunter. So four down to three. For Richard's second action, he gets two red, not two blue. So I need to deal, and uh, where's that black one gone? There it is. So I need to deal one damage. I need to get a push at least. That's that's double damage. That's a damage and a crit. So that would push him and kill him off. So, pff, and then uh, Richard is going to. I don't really want to shoot this zombie with a shotgun. So oh, I just realised. Oh wait, no, never mind. Okay, Wesker moved out there, didn't he? Okay, so Richard's got one action left. He's going to attempt. Oh, do I? I'm just gonna shoot this zombie. Screw it. So four. Oh, sorry. Three down to two. And that is a double damage. So, yep. He's dead. Wait, did I? Did I roll the? I rolled the black with that then. Um, did I roll the black with the hunter? Oh damn it. Oh well. If I did, I did. If I didn't, I didn't. If it didn't land on the umbrella symbol, perfect. If it did, damn it. <laughs> so, nothing's alive now to react. So we are drawing... Oh, I killed that hunter. Killed that zombie. That's another two two tokens gone. Um, I also killed that zombie down here, which turned into a corpse when Chris shot it away. So, that'll be another token. So we've got one token left on supply cache. So... Tension card. It is all clear. Uh, back to Chris. So Chris is going to go. What I'm going to do. I'm going to move these two wound tokens before I get confused. Uh, Chris is uh, fell on the floor. I will need to grab that. So one, two, three, four to there. Pick this up off the floor. Pop that back in the tray. Pop that back in the tray. Uh, tension card. It is all clear. Uh, Wesker. Wesker's going to go one, two, three, and burn this corpse for four. Get rid of one of these kerosene tokens. And that is the final token on supply cache. So quickly get rid of that. Pop the, the tokens back in there, the kerosene token back in there. And each character is getting an A item. So quickly grab the A item deck, bring it here. Wesker's getting a red herb. Uh, Chris, actually I'll give these to uh, Richard instead. Do that in a sec. Uh, Jill's getting a green herb and Chris is getting some hang on bullets. Okay. So, Jill gets the green herb, Richard gets the shotgun shells, Wesker gets a red herb. Okay. Now, uh, wait. One, two, three, four. I couldn't, I couldn't have burnt that corpse, damn it. Okay, what I'll do, I'll make up for it by giving Jill three actions. Then we draw an attention card for Wesker, it's all clear. Jill does get four, but because I screwed up last turn, so one, two, three, into here. And then attention card, unfolding events, draw a narrative card. Our narrative card is, let's take a look. Uh, radio warning, your radio splutters into life, a thin mechanical voice warning of dangers ahead but it dies once more. You can discard an increven to refresh the tension deck. If the players don't discard an increven, shuffle this card back into the deck and draw a replacement. Um, uh, yeah, why not? I'm not sure how far away I am from a save. Oh, there's a save point right there where Wesker was. Um, no, I won't. I'll reshuffle it and I'll draw a replacement, but this gets removed to the rest of the, rest of the scenario. So I'll pop that there. Shuffle these up and draw a replacement. Okay, so we are getting Architect's Notebook. A scuffed book falls on the ground as you search through the rooms. The notes inside detail a lo the locations of several points of interest. Look at the top three mission cards, then return each card to the top or bottom of the deck in an order of your choice. 
Okay, so that gets discarded for the rest of the campaign. Look at the top three mission cards, which are, for all those three, uh, You're Alive, Supply Run and Mission of Mercy. Put that on the top. Um, four cards. Uh, we'll put it like that. Supply Run on the top, Mission of Mercy and You're Alive. Oh, actually, I can put them to the bottom, can't I? Uh, top or bottom of the deck in any order of your choice. Okay. Let me just do that again. So, supply run we want on the top because that's good. You're alive. Draw cards and says character finds four or more clues. We're random missions. Character find four or more clues. Return the character that has been removed from the game to reserve. Ooh. Uh, if no characters have been removed from the game, uh, there's only one person being removed, and that was Edward. A very, very long time ago. <laughs> um, I'll put that underneath supply run, and I will put um, Mission of Mercy at the bottom because that one sucks. Okay, uh, that was the end of Jill's turn. It is now uh, Richard's turn. He's going to make his way back to this room. One, two, open this door for three. And then we are drawing a tension card. Tragic Echoes, there are no zombies, so we'll discard that. Wesker's turn. It is Wesker's turn. No, that's Chris's turn. Chris is going to go one, two, three to there. We've drawn an attention card. All clear. Now it's Wesker's turn. Wesker's going to... I want to explore this room. Yeah, we will. That is number... Number two on the exploration card. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so Wesker went one into here. Um, I am going to choose to draw three tension cards. I think, yeah, I'll draw three tension cards instead of three encounter cards, just in case we get an absolute crap storm appear on us. So first tension card is all clear. Second tension card is ominous feeling. For one round, characters must re-roll successful attacks if there are any corpses on their tile. At the start of each character's turn, roll the umbrella die for each corpse on their tile. If the result is the umbrella, replace the corpse with a zombie. Okay, so there are no corpses on this tile, or on anyone's tile at the moment. Third tension card is foreboding scene. So uh, this room over here next to Chris, just here, has a yellow token. So I'm going to upgrade that to an orange. There we go. Uh, that doesn't get removed from the game, so that'll go there. And then we'll put that yellow token over there. Um, so that was one. Two, Wesker will move to here. Three, I'm going to loot this item. So, what is it going to be? It is a green herb. That's okay because Wesker's a red, so I can combine that. I will discard that A token. Three actions because of treacherous footing. So, we are drawing an attention card. Oh, it is all clear. Uh, back to Jill. Jill's, I'm going to make my way down here. I'm going to save it now. Um, one, two, three. Nothing's going to react. Oh, it is all clear. It is now Richard's turn. Richard's going to move here for one. Open this door for two. And then move back here for three. So I want to check out this way with Richard. And then this room here with Chris. We are drawing a tension card. It is all clear. It is now Chris's turn. Chris is going to go one into this room here. I will be back momentarily. Okay, Chris stepped into here for one. We have an orange encounter token and we also have the wind crest token. So we're going to draw two encounter cards. First one is place the active character on the closest biohazard symbol. So there. If there isn't an enemy in the character's square, spawn a zombie on it. So. Chris is getting a zombie, and then the second one is a spawn a corpse. So we'll put a corpse over here, and four. We, we can't actually shoot if we get any successful attacks. We have to re-roll them. Oh no. Um, okay. So that was one to move in. Two, I am going to try and move to here. So I'm going to roll a dodge for Chris. 
think the camera might be able to see this. He didn't get the dodge. Um, okay, so I'm going to take a wound for that. I do have a dagger, but I'm going to save those for the more chunkier enemies. So we'll push the zombie to there. That was uh, one, two to push the zombie, three and four. Zombie's going to react. Uh, one, two, one, two. Ooh. No, we'll put him there. And then we are... Oh, actually, I've, I forgot about treacherous. Oh no, treacherous button is this tile here. Never mind, it's fine. So, tension card. It's all clear. And it is Wesker's turn. Wesker can't do that. I don't really want to try and guess the solution. Um, spending an action on the objective token allows you to try and guess the solution to it. We know that the second one is the sun. So I'm going to leave it for now. So what I'll do is I'm going to go one, two, three. Do I want to go in here for four? No, I won't. I'll move there for four. And the zombie is going to react here. And we are drawing a pension card. Keeper's Diary. So the next item to be looted, we do have to draw an encounter card. So I will pop that in the card holder. Just here. And it is Gil's turn. Who drew that ominous feeling tension card? I think it might have been Jill. Oh, it was Wesker when he went into this room. So, Jill, Richard, Chris, Wesker. So yeah, that's the end now, that's gone. Okay, awesome. So Jill's turn, she's gonna go one, two, three. Um, and then four, she's gonna use an ink ribbon. She is just next to the ink, uh, the, the ink ribbon, the typewriter. So we are going to discard an ink ribbon and save it. Okay, so Jill's final action was to save, use an ink ribbon, we've shuffled it. So that was Jill's last action and we are drawing a 10 no, up. The zombie is gonna react onto Wesker's space. I forgot what the last card was, so never mind. Uh, claws from the ceiling. This is the new one. This is for the chimeras. Uh, spiny talons. Spiny talons. Talons. Snake from the vents, threatening to hook you towards an untimely death. The character must pass a medium evade roll. If they fail, they must discard a defensive item or suffer one wound. And then on the red danger level, any other characters on the same tile must do the same too. Oh, okay. Um, John needs to perform a medium dodge. She got two small dodges. Um, I am going to, I'm not going to discard my defensive item. I'm just gonna take a wound. Yeah, you do replace the murder of crows for this. So the more dangerous murderous crows, basically. It is Richard's turn. Richard's first action will be to explore into this room here. So I will move that out of the way, quickly set that up and I'll be back momentarily. Okay, Richard's adventuring caused him to come across a room with an orange encounter token. But we do have our third crest token there. So we are drawing two encounter cards. First one, place this card next to this tile for the rest of the scenario. Each time a character leaves another tile and is placed on this tile, draw an encounter card instead. No, sorry, draw an encounter card. Okay, uh, next one is uh, discard this card without effect. And when this, oh, star symbol. So Jill is going to heal. Or is it when, when an account card with the star symbol is drawn, Jill and each of, yes, Jill. So it doesn't necessarily need to be Jill to draw, who draws this. So yeah, cool. So slide that on there a little bit. Uh, that was one to move in. Two, I am going to close the door. Uh, three and four. Uh, we are drawing a an encounter card. It's all clear. It is now Chris's turn. Chris is going to spend an action to check out the wind symbol. The wind symbol is the first card. So we know the first card is the moon. Second card is the sun. So we need to find out what the third and fourth cards are. Well, if we find out what the third one is, or the fourth one, depending on which one the moon is, then we know the final one. So, uh, first action was to check that. So we have the moon 
and the sun. Okay. Moon and sun. Moon and sun. Moon and sun. Uh, two, three, and four. Chris is going to use the flamethrower. So. Nope, oh, not to five, down to three. I'm just going to quickly zoom that out, touch, and zoom back in. There we go. The Chris gets two blue. He got a push, so that deals one damage and decapitates. <gasps> uh, Wesker just brushed off the flames, he's fine. Uh, that was Chris's turn. Uh, nothing is alive or in the room to retaliate, and uh, I'm just pray. Never mind. <laughs> We've got a friggin' hunter. Okay. So that's going to spawn behind Chris, pop through the vent, scree! And it is Wesker's turn. Wesker is going to turn around and do nothing because he's got no shotgun ammo. Um, if I want to... I've got four actions. I'm going to use all four actions, I think. I've got enough bullets in the handgun. I've got 12 to use all four actions, so... 12 down to 9. No, no, sorry, that's the pistol. And we get the we get three blue and the black. And I'm going to zoom out so we can see. I'm just going to quickly turn. There we go. Do all this in together. That's one. That's a double push. It was a three on the black. Um, you know what? Double push that to there. Second action. I'm going to shut the door. <laughs> Third action. Here and fourth action to here. So Chris is safe somewhat. That was a different turn, of, yeah, different sequence of events than I originally planned. I was going to use all four actions on that hunter, but that's okay. So that was Wesker's turn. We are drawing. Sorry, I'll just smack my microphone. We are drawing an encounter. Uh, sorry, a uh, tension card. So draw an encounter card, and we're not on the red yet, so we don't draw an additional one. So encounter card. It is. Oh, I draw two there, sorry. Uh, a Cerberus. A dog just popped out the vent. And that is Wesker's turn. So, back down to Jill. She is going to. So, we know that the first one is the moon, the second one is the sun. Um, one, two, three, four. I've knocked this on it change this a little bit. Um, the dog is going to react. dog is actually going to attack Wesker because of the special symbol. I've got to zoom the camera in but that's fine. But Wesker does need to perform a dodge. Wesker did not get the dodge. So the dog jumps in his space and attacks him. So he's taking a wound down to caution. The dog, it deals one, yeah it does one damage. That's fine. And uh, I just realised if there's an, there's an asterisk symbol, the dog does get to perform two actions, two reactions instead. So that was the end of Jill's turn. We are drawing the attention card. It's all clear. We are back to Richard. So Richard's going to go one, two, three, spend his fourth action to check on the moon. The moon is the third card. So here we go, the third one is the star. So we know the last one's the wind. So the first one is the star, not uh, the moon. Second one is the sun. Third one is the star. And the fourth one we know now is the wind. So I can just head to this room and do this. Okay, uh, nothing's reacting because the door's closed and is now no escape. So that door does open. <laughs> Enemies on two tiles connected, so the dog will get a reaction. So the dog is going to attack Wesker. Uh, Wesker got the dodge, that's fine. It is now Chris's turn. Chris is going to open the door for one. Leave it for two, close it for three. And does Crystal, Chris, does Crystal, Crystal have any bullets? Crystal does have bullets. Fourth action, Crystal is going to shoot the dog. <laughs> three bullets. Uh, that does us a push, so push the dog into that corner. End of turn reactions. The dog is going to attack Wesker. He's going to attempt to jump into his space and attack him. Here we go. 
Wesker didn't get the dodge, so Wesker's getting attacked by the dog again. Wesker is one from danger. Okay. Um, tension card. All clear. It is Wesker's turn. Yes, it is. It's Wesker's turn. Wesker's going to shoot the dog. Nine down to six. Three bullets. Uh, nothing. So Wesker's taking... Oh, my God. Want to push the dog away, he's on danger. Second action, he's going to use his red-green mix. Takes him back up to one from fine. Third action, he's going to use the gun again. Six down to three. This dog better die. Yes, the dog died. <laughs> Dead. And then fourth action, one to shoot, two to heal, three to shoot, four. Ooh, um, uh, do I want to move into there? I haven't even moved the camera. There we go. I'm not going to move into there because it, just in case we get something really bad happen. So I'll leave Wesker there. Uh, nothing is alive to react. So we are drawing attention card. It is. All clear. We're back to Jill. She's going to go one, two, three because of. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to go back this way to this puzzle door down here because I can send Chris into here to do this. So one, two, three, onto the steps. Nothing's reacting. Tension card, it's all clear. That hunter's going to come back and bite me in the cheeks. I can feel it. Um, okay, so tension card was all clear. It is Richard's turn. So Richard is just there. He's going to go one, two, three, four to there. Draw an attention card, it's all clear. Uh, Chris's turn, he's going to go one, two, three, four to there. Draw an attention card, it's all clear. Back to Wesker. Okay, Wesker's going to come into here for one. We're drawing two encounter cards. First one is um, after resolving all. Um, wow, well, my turn's over after one action. Wow. Okay, and then the next one is uh, after resolving all spawn entries. Enemies are each enemy on this turn linked task perform a reaction. There are no enemies linked, so that's actually a good two to get, I suppose. Well, the one losing my entire turn isn't good, but it's a good one to get with the one I've just drawn, if that makes sense. Okay, nothing is linked. So we're drawing a tension card. It is all clear. We are back to Jill, who's just down here. I'll just quickly shift this. One, two, three, four to there. Right outside that puzzle door, ready. And then we're drawing a tension card. It is all clear. It is Richard's turn. Richard's going to go one, two, three, four. Um, do I want to do that? Or do I come down here and check out this puzzle room? Mm -hmm. Okay, change plan. When I get to the game, I'll go one, two, three, four, and this way. Nothing's reacting. We are drawing an attention card, it's all clear. Uh, back to Chris. So Chris is going to go here for one. I'm going to spend an action. So we know from left to right, it is the moon, the sun, the star, and wind. So moon, sun, star, and wind. There we go. Done. All face up. So now all the puzzle lock doors, which is one here. There's one ne right next to Jill. They are all now unlocked. I'm not sure if there's any more on any more exploration cards. So I'll just pop those there in case there are. Okay, so that's all unlocked. That was one, two to do that, three, four, back to there. Uh, nothing's reacting. We draw an attention card. It is reanimate. Uh, closest corpse in that room of the hunter. So it's becoming a zombie. Zombie. There we go. Uh, da -da -da -da, attention card right here. There we go. <laughs> it is Wesker's turn. Um, I have no intention of coming down this way. So I'm just going to move there for one. Wait for this door to get opened. Um, and Wesker's turn there. Attention card is all clear. Um, back to Jill. Okay, Jill is going to go. Uh, she was already there, wasn't she? And did I? Yeah, I must have knocked her out of the way when I picked up that power card. 
uh, pulls a card. So first action is to open the door. Second action is to move in. So I will be back shortly. Oh, I'm a little bit worried. Um, so it was one to open the door, two to move in. Um, we are drawing three encounter cards. So um, I'll pop that out. Um, one is place a yellow one explored token on this tile. Okay, we can do that. Uh, second one, pop that there. Now, Jill would have got a, um, a health back, but she's already on fine. So second, um, spawn a corpse and place a yellow one explored token on this tile. Would, would I just upgrade that to an orange? Uh, yeah, I'll just upgrade it to an orange. And our third one is spawn two corpses. Oh, sorry, uh, spawn a corpse um, right there, and then spawn two corpses on this B item. So we're getting three corpses popping up in this room. Pop those back there, pop those in the discard pile. So first corpse would go there. Second corpse. And third corpse will go on the B item. Okay. So that was Jill's one to open, two to move in, three to move into the middle, and then four, I'm going to burn both of these corpses. So get rid of both of those, and a kerosene token. Nothing is reacting, so we draw an attention card. Oh, it is. I'm in a feeling. <laughs> so at the start of Jill's next turn, I need to roll. Uh, yeah, the umbrella die, and that zombie might, oh, that corpse might be getting up. I'm just going to pop that there, like that. But now. Actually, I'll pop it next to Keeper's Diary because I'm going to need to join a counter card when picking up these B items. <sighs> okay. Um, it is Richard's turn. It's going to be a fairly quick one for Richard. One, two, three. We're drawing a tension card. It is all clear. And now is Chris's turn. Chris is right there. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. He's going to go up with a Wesker. And we're drawing a tension card. Oh, supply cash again. Um, where can I put this? Well, all these are face up. So I'm just going to move those to the side. Pop supply cash right here. So I can get rid of these puzzle cards for the room. And then we pop five wound tokens on here. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, yep. And whenever we kill something or burn a corpse, we remove a token. Again, five tokens removed. Everyone gets an A item. So it is Wesker's turn. I'm just gonna leave Wesker there. I'm not gonna do anything. I don't plan on coming down this way, so yeah, we'll just leave Wesker there. All clear. We are back to Jill. Jill needs to roll the umbrella die. Yes, Jill needs to roll this umbrella die to see if this guy's getting up. And he's not, that's a six. Okay, so Jill's first action. She will burn the corpse. Discard a kerosene. Discard the corpse. And we discard a token from supply cache. Jill's second action, we're going to move to here. Third action. Loot the B item. It is a second grenade launcher. <laughs> um, Jill actually doesn't have any room. So I'll just discard this green herb. Oh no, that means I'm going to have to discard something else. I'm going to I'm gonna have to send someone down here to help with the items. Damn it. Okay, I should have sent Chris down this way. Never mind. So I'm just going to Discard that green herb there. So that was three. We do need to draw an encounter card, which is um, spawn a corpse. At the end of this character's attention phase, replace each corpse on this tile with a zombie. So one of those corpses reappeared. I can't put it there, can I? It needs to go there. Um, that was uh, one to burn the corpse, two, three to loot, four. Um, I'll stay here. No, I won't. It's the tension phase, isn't it? So I'll move there for four. Okay. And that is the end of Jill's turn. We draw a tension card. All clear. And then this corpse stands up. 
Maybe his body must have fell out of the vent or something. <laughs> On the floor. <laughs> okay, so it is now um, Richard's turn. Okay, Richard's going to go one, two, three, and spend his fourth action to save. I mean, the detention deck's not that low, to be fair, but just for prosperity's sake, just to keep it safe, I suppose. Yep, so I'm going to discard our second increment to save. Oh, that did a whole lap of the board. <laughs> okay, so that was Richard's final action. So we are drawing a tension card. It is no escape. Open the closest non lock closed door to the character, which would be this one here. And then on the amber level effect is enemies on two tiles connected by the door perform a reaction. There are no enemies connected. That's fine. It is Chris's turn. Chris is just up here, so he's going to go one, two, three, and chill out next to Wesker. We're drawing a tension card. It is Shattering Glass. Draw an additional tension card and spawn a Cerberus on the active character's tile. Wow, I didn't even notice that. I didn't read that before. On the red level, you spawn an additional Cerberus. <laughs> so we gain a uh, additional tension card and a Cerberus. It is all clear. And a Cerberi. There we go. Um, it is Wesker's turn, I believe. It is. It is Wesker's turn. Wesker's going to shoot the dog. So, Wesker's final three bullets. Down to zero. He is rolling up uh, everywhere, apparently. There we go. So I need a, I need a damage, I need a damage, give me a damage, that was nothing. So the dog's going to jump onto Wesker and Chris, want some cuddles. Second action, Wesker's going to use the handgun bullets, discard those. Oh wait, I can't yet, I need to perform dodge. So, here we go, come on, I've got a medium dodge and a large dodge. So, we are discarding that, we are reloading the handgun by eight, click, 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 click. Uh, third action. Use three bullets. This dog better die. Um, I'm going to push on it. And fourth action, I'm just going to do it again. Screw it. Down to two. <laughs> Chris is stood there giving Wesker, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And that was nothing, so the dog's going to jump onto my space. They want to shoot, three to reload. Four to, three to shoot, four to shoot, and I did nothing. Okay, so the dog's going to attack Wesker. Wesker got a medium dodge. He is safe. And now we are drawing a tension card. It is all clear. Back down to Jill. Okay, Jill's going to move here for one. Loot this for two. We know what this is, it's the final B item. It is the power key. Power key. But to do so, I'm going to discard the dagger, which is unfortunate. Okay, um, so that was one, two, and then I'm going to go three, four into the corner. We'll have the zombie move there. And then we are drawing attention card. It is all clear. And it is uh, Richard's turn. Richard is going to go one, two, three, four to here. We are drawing a tension card. It is Deathly Rasp. Join encounter card. Okay, right. Encounter card. It is Spawn a Zombie and draw a tension card. Oh, lovely. Okay, so the zombie is going to spawn here. I could choose their equal distance. And we're drawing a tension card on top of that. Uh, it is all clear. Okay. It is Chris's turn. Christ, this dog's a tanky. Chris is going to shoot the dog. Six down to three. He gets three dice. Dog is just there. And that's a double push. We'll push the dog down to here. Zombie reacts towards Richard. Ah, uh, great. We're going to shoot at the dog again. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Well, I'll do. I'm not going to push the dog. Actually, I'll push him one space away instead. And then I'm going to use my flamethrower. Three down to two. 
We get two blue. And E. Oh, are you kidding me? Damage and a push, so that dog's dead. We are discarding a wound token. I was about to say blood token then. Uh, zombie reacts onto Richard's space. And I'll end the turn there. Actually, no. I've got um, two actions left. I'm going to use a kerosene token to reload the flamethrower by three. So we're going from two up to five. And shall I do it again? No, I'll leave it for now. And then that'll do. That'll do. So the zombie is going to attack Richard. Richard needs to perform a dodge. He didn't get the dodge. Richard's taking a wound. Down to caution. Oh dear. That's unfortunate because now, now it's Wesker's turn. No, no it's not. No attention card. It's all clear. Now it's Wesker's turn. Wesker is... <laughs> can't do anything. I'm just going to stay there with Wesker, I suppose. See if I can't, I can't move to there to try and shoot the zombie anyway because it'll attack Richard again and again and again. So I'm just going to stay there. Um, draw an attention card. I always seem to do this when I play with four characters. I end up standing somewhere with one person for ages. <laughs> uh, we're back down to Jill, so I'm just going to quickly move the camera there. She's going to go. One, two, three, and shut this door for four. The zombie's not reacting. He's now sad. Mm. Foreboding scene. So the closest uh, token would be this one here. So I'm going to upgrade that to an orange. I don't plan on going down that way anyway, so that's okay. I know, wouldn't it be this one, wouldn't it? Right next to Jill. So uh, that'd become a red. <laughs> I'll put that yellow back over there. So that would become a red. Oh, there we go. There we go. And then pop that orange back in there. And then pop that yellow back over there. So, the voting scene. Now, it is Richard's turn. Richard's got a zombie to fend off. Uh, Richard has zero hang on bullets and two salt shotgun rounds. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I may as well try and get rid of it. So, uh, here we go. Where do I roll this? Uh, here. That was a push. So that does kill the zombie off. <laughs> and we remove a token from supply cache. There's two left. I'll drop that down to one. And that was Richard's first action. His second action will be to move to there. Third action to there. Oh, our entire map's being pushed around. Okay, because it's treacherous footing, we only get three actions. We're drawing a tension card. It is all clear. It is now Chris's turn. We're just going to skip Chris's turn. It's all clear. It's Wesker's turn. We're going to skip Wesker's turn. No escape. Open the closest. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so that door's opening. <laughs> That's not good. The door where the hunter and the zombie are left. Enemies on the two tiles connected perform a reaction. So the hunter's going to jump to here. The zombie's going to move to there. Oh no. Oh, that's not good because Richard's next turn. He can't even get to close that. Oh. Oh, damn it. I've just screwed myself. Never mind. Um, it is Jill's turn. Jill's just down here. She's going to end up... I want to leave it there. One, two, three, um, four. Uh, I think that'll be okay. The hunter's going to react to here. The zombie will react to there. And then it's Richard's turn. Sorry, tension card. All clear. It is now Richard's turn, so he will shoot at the hunter with his assault shotgun. Go from one down to zero. I'm going to pop that there because I'm going to use it again. I'm going to roll the black with the red. Uh, that's a two on the umbrella. And that is a, is that a double double crit. Really? A double crit, that's a double push. Oh, no. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Um, one, two. And... I only have two actions left. 
So, actually, no, I won't. I'll leave him there. I'm, I'll push him into there instead. And then I'll move there. Um. Hmm. So that was one, two. If I move there for three, he's going to be able to get into my space. Um, yeah, whatever. We'll do it. Three to there. Hunter's going to jump into Richard's space. There's no special symbols on the tension cards. The zombie's going to move to here. Okay. It is... Chris's turn. All clear. Okay, so Chris is going to move there for one. He's going to shoot at the zombie with his handgun. Three down to zero. It's three blue. The hunter gets its black. I haven't moved the camera, have I? There we go. Chris is shooting down the hallway. That's the umbrella symbol. Damn it. Christ. Well, I've got a double push anyway, so one, two. Zombie will react onto Richard's space. Um, oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Chris's third action, he's going to discard his handgun bullets to reload back up to eight. Uh, oh, that's a flamethrower. Handgun back up to eight. Click, 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 click. And then he's going to spend three to shoot the hunter again. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's nothing. So the hunter's going to jump back onto Richard. Damn it. And that's the end of Chris's turn, so the hunter's going to attack Richard. No special symbols. Richard, ooh, you got a large dodge. Nice. Okay, what would that have been? Uh, it would have been one damage anyway. Okay, it is Wesker's turn. Ugh. Um, alright, tension card. All clear. Wesker's going to move into Chris's space. He's going to use his last two handgun rounds down to zero. It's two blue, we roll the black with it too. Here we go. Never mind, um, that was a push. Uh, the umbrella symbol, never mind. Um, yeah, can't do anything. I could take Chris's handgun from him. <laughs> There's no point. The hunter's gonna move into Chris's, uh, Richard's space. The zombie will attack, really? Yeah, the hunter's just reacted into there, but the zombie will attack. Uh, Rich is taking a wound, he's going down one from danger. And he'll push the zombie into there. Okay, tension card. It is all clear. It is Jill's turn. She's going to go one, two, three. She's going to launch a grenade at that hunter. So she's going from four down to three. Plunk. She gets a red, and we roll the black with the red. Let's move that to the side. Or I'm going to be extremely annoyed if this is a blank or an umbrella. Ah, of course you would, wouldn't you? Oh, the zombie tried to lift the door then. The zombie's going to react. That's the end of Jill's turn. So the hunter is going to try and attack Richard. If, oh wow, okay. If this hits, it's dealing three damage. <laughs> Richard needs a medium dodge or higher. That's nothing. So Richard is going to go onto call, uh, unconscious, but Richard's ability states that, let me just grab that. If Richard becomes unconscious, roll the blue, roll a blue die. If an evade symbol is rolled, place him in an adjacent square and set his health track to danger. So. We will roll a blue, and we need a dodge. That is not a dodge. Richard's down. Ah! Uh, help me! Please help! Uh. Okay, so Richard's down. <laughs> I think I did that last time, didn't I? When Richard last went down, I had to roll that, and I got the push. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so, we join a tension card. Oh. Drew two there. All clear. 
and I know what the next one is, which is going to really suck. So, it is Chris's turn, because Rich is down. It's Chris's turn. Chris is going to go one, two, three, and then he's going to use his flamethrower. Down to four. He gets two blue. We're rolling this for the hunter. Oh, damage. So, zombie's dead. We remove a token from that. And the hunter is also taking a wound because it didn't get a umbrella symbol. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, reactions. No special symbol. So the hunter is just going to move into... Oh, hang on. Is it one range? It's one range. So the hunter is going to attack Chris. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Chris needs a medium dodge. He got... Oh, he got a large dodge. And that is the end. So we join attention card. Sinister Echoes. Four tokens. When anyone makes an attack, we draw an encounter card. Yay! This is not going to be good because we have a hunter to deal with and we don't want to draw more cards because there's still two Chimera cards to come out and the encounter deck is getting pretty low. <laughs> um, it's Wesker's turn. Wes is just going to cower in the corner by the door. So that means the hunter is going to attack Chris again. Chris didn't get it, so Chris is taking a wound down to caution. And we draw, we take one from Sinister Echoes. It's back to Jill. To be fair, I think I might risk. I need to try and take this hunter down. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Screw it, let's do it. Jill is going to shoot at the hunter with the grenade. Plunk. Roll a red and a black together. Come on. That's a blank again! No! <sighs> Will you suck an egg? Oh, that means it's going to jump onto here with Chris now. Oh. And we draw an encounter card. It is. After resolving all spawn entries, on cards drawn with this card, replace the closest corpse with a crimson head. <laughs> um, down here, right at the start of the game, where Chris and Jill started, there was a corpse. That corpse is now a crimson head. Um, Jill's got two actions left. Um, oh man. I, I, can't, I can't even shoot that hunter again. So, two, three to there. I'm going to put this assault shotgun back on Richard's space. I also have just looked at Jill's board. I do have the grenade launcher, don't I? So I need to roll this to find out how much ammo we get. Five. Five rounds in that grenade, new grenade launcher. I'll take it. Let me just grab the dial. Five grenade rounds. <laughs> Jill's just rocking two grenade launchers. <laughs> okay. Um... The hunter is going to attack Chris. Chris got a large dodge. Uh, where am I? Oh, attention card. Um, oh, wow, okay. you got to be kidding me. Right, we'll take a, a token off Sinister Echoes because that was only Jill's turn. And we are getting a hunter spawning right down here. And it is Chris's turn. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to try and take out one of these hunters. So, Chris is going to use his flamethrower. He's going from four down to three. That is nothing. Oh my god, Chris is taking a wound. Chris is now on one from danger. So, the hunter's going to react to here. you got to be having a laugh. <laughs> three down to two. Oh my, are you kidding me? That wasn't a push, it was um, it was a small dodge. I flipped it over by accident. So the hunter's going to jump back onto Chris. This hunter's going to jump onto Jill. Oh no, come on. Right. One, two down to one. Right, that's a push. So, oh, and it's a freaking... Ah, no! So he is getting pushed. So we'll push into there. Oh, let's drop that. 
Okay, um, Chris's last action. I'm just going to use a kerosene token. Refuel that back up to four. And then pop that over there. Pop those back there. Um, Hunter's going to attack Chris. Nope, Chris is taking a wound and he's going to jump. Oh no. That's a special symbol, so that is three damage. Chris is down. Oh no, okay. Um, this is not going well. Uh, Jill's got a first aid spray I can use, but I can't use herbs or anything. I mean, I've got a first aid spray. <laughs> this hunter's going to attack Jill. Jill got uh, nothing, so Jill's taking three wounds. Jill's going from fine down to caution. Oh no. I also forgot to uh, draw encounter cards with Chris. That's not good. Okay, I, I attacked three times, didn't I? So, locate the closest tile to the active character that contains one or more enemies and at least one non-closed door. So the, the, the tile where Jill picked up those two B items is now open. So that's that one. Next one is, after resolving all encounter cards drawn with this card, the active character's action phase ends immediately. Doesn't matter because I dealt no, 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 dealt no damage. Chris is down. So I shouldn't have used that last round. It did nothing anyway, so yeah. Okay, um, this, is, this is going bad. This is going very, very badly. <laughs> right, it is Wesker's turn. Uh, Wesker can't do a damn thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go one, two, three. No, I won't. I'll go one there. The hunter's one, two, three away from Jill. One, two, three away from Wesker. So I'll stand there. This hunter's going to react to here. Did I draw attention card? I didn't draw attention card with for Chris's to smash the thunder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this door here. No, well, let me do this door here. So this is getting smashed apart and replaced by an archway. Uh, there we go. Uh, there. Okay, I'm worried my microphone's going to die in a minute, so I'm just I'm going to. Wait a moment and then I'm going to change the microphone. Okay, so this hunter is going to attack Jill. Jill got a large dodge. She's okay. My goodness. <sighs> okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Sinister Echoes is now gone. Oh man, uh, we do get a zombie spawn in there, don't we? Smash the thunder. Let me just double check it. Smash the thunder. Oh, this get doesn't this get removed? Oh, it gets removed for the rest of the scenario. Never mind, that was my mistake. This spawn a zombie adjacent to one of the squares. Okay. Adjacent to the door, the archway. Get in. And it wasn't that archway. It was that archway. Oh, okay. It's Jill's turn. She's gonna dodge out of this space. She got a small dodge. I'm going to discard the da Oh no. I discarded the dagger. Pushing that hunter away. She's taking a wound. She's now in danger. Um, second action. I'm going to use my first aid spray. One, two, three. And then three. I'm going to move to here. <laughs> no, I'm not. Three. I'm going to shoot at this hunter because these need to die. And if I kill one of them in one hit, we get through them four AI items. Then again, they're down. Would they even get them? I'm gonna say yes. I'm just give them fruit on their bodies, their unconscious bodies. <laughs> so Jill's gonna use a grenade Kwunk. on this hunter. Ah, oh, this better not be an umbrella symbol. Oh. Let me just move that. That was a two and a damage icon. That's that's a kill. That's three damage. That hunter's off. 
that removes the final um, dinghy token, supply cash token. So that token has been removed. Supply cash is gone. And we are drawing three A items from the A deck. So Jill is getting our oh, first aid spray, okay? Now look coming handy. Uh, Richard's corpse is getting a green herb. <laughs> Wesker's frightened child self is getting some shot. Yeah, yeah, he's not frightened anymore. He can now use those. And Chris is getting a green herb. Okay. That was uh, Jill's third action. So the hunter would have reacted onto Wesker. This zombie would have reacted to here. I think I might have been forgetting to react that zombie before. Um, okay. Was that Jill's full turn? It was the end of Jill's turn. So the hunter would have reacted into there. So the hunter is going to attack. The zombie will move there for its reaction. Wesker needs to perform a medium dodge. There we go, come on. Wesker didn't get the medium dodge, so Wesker is taking a wound. He's on caution. Okay, it is Wesker's turn. So Wesker is going to attempt to reload the shotgun. He needs to get a dodge. Oh, he got, he got a large dodge. Okay, so Wesker's going to discard this to reload his shotgun by four. Four. <laughs> Second action, he's going to shoot the hunter. Down to three. He gets two blue. And we roll the black. Don't you dare give me the umbrella symbol. Yep, got the umbrella symbol. But I'm going to give him a push to there. Zombie will react to there. I don't think I drew attention card, did I, for Jill? Damn it. Um, never mind. Um, right. Shotgun. Down to two. Ah, I hate this umbrella die. That is another push, that's a damage. Oh wait, I couldn't have pushed the hunter because... The push is a damage, not a push. Okay, so the damage would have been deflected, but I am dealing the damage this time because that's a four, so the hunter is taking a wound. Zombie will react onto Jill. Uh, I'll do it again. This is my fourth action. First action was to reload, second to shoot, third to shoot, fourth to shoot. Oh, okay, come on. Give me a double push. Give me a double push. Oh, just a push. Never mind. Okay, so Hunter's taking a wound. Hunter's taking two wounds. Um, should have moved that there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so Hunter is going to attack Wesker. No special symbols. Wesker's taking the wound, of course he is. And Jill needs to dodge the zombie. She got a medium dodge, which is just over here. So she's okay. Oh. Okay, so. Tension card. Oh, I am not a happy puppy at the moment. So Wesker's got a hunter appearing next to him, along with the other hunter. <laughs> For crying out loud! Oh. Okay, it's Jill's turn. <laughs> I'm not sounding very optimistic at the moment. <laughs> She's going to attempt to dodge out of this square. She, oh, that was a medium dodge that just move that over and it was a push so she got out one two to there three i'm gonna use my first aid spray on chris so um i'm just gonna double check um oh hang on oh oh, oh okay Oh, okay. Or, or, or resuscitate an unconscious character to caution. Okay, so Chris is going up to caution. He's jumping back up. Thanks, Jill. Sounded more like Barry, but oh, hey ho. Um, that was the end of Jill's turn. The zombie will react to there. The hunter is going to. Oh my god. 
both of these hunters going to attack now then? Or is it just... Uh, am I, am I, do, I, do I keep doing it wrong? Do, do, does the highest threat get the attack? I mean, I'm just going to double check the rule book because I've got a feeling Wesk is going to die. Okay, so they're both in range of attack. So that means Wesker needs to roll a large or higher. And it's a, a, a cross symbol, so if he gets hit, he's taking three damage and he's going down. So, Wesker's taking three damage and he's going down. Wow, okay. Uh, my hip. And it's that hunter that's taking two wounds. Okay, we draw an attention card. It is cornered. Oh my goodness. Look at the closest tile to the active character, where there are enemies but no characters. Remove the enemy on the tile with the highest threat level, so it would be the hunter, and it would pop up here. Oh my god. It's Jill's turn. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my grenade launch on this hunter. That means this one will react. What I'll do, I'm going to move here instead. I'm going to use my grenade launch on this hunter. Or oh, what else do I have? I have a handgun. I can try the handgun. But I'm going from 12 down to 9. I get 3 blue. It's not that crimson head over. Never mind. Let's back up. That is, oh, that's a damage. And it's not the umbrella icon. So the hunter's actually dead. Oh. I can't. I can't. My voice can't go that high. <laughs> and every time I do try to go that high, it sounds like a... So, pop these back in here before I end up losing them. So, that hunter died. This hunter is going to react. This zombie will react. Right, now I am going to shoot this hunter with my grenade launcher. Jill's got six grenade rounds spread across two grenade launchers. So, plunk to there. So, one to move, two to shoot, three to shoot. Come on. That's. Okay, push and dealing one damage. I'll push that hunter to there, dealing one damage. Actually, no. I'm leaving where I am. The zombie will react onto here, and it will push Chris out of the way. Oh. Okay, so it turns out Kenneth's on caution. So draw up to, up to five cards. If the character survives, draw a number of cards from the item A deck corresponding to the number of clues found. Okay, so we've drawn five cards. First one, a clue. Second, second one is a, a clue too. <laughs> Third one is a wound. Okay, um, so that's one from danger. Uh, okay, um, Kenneth's on danger. Hmm. Up to five. Do I want to risk it? If this isn't a clue, Kenneth dies. You know what? We've already come this far. 
with the crap storm that we've had. So yes, it is a clue. <laughs> There's only two cards left in the encounter deck. So they're either both Chimeras or I've drawn Chimeras with the last two missions. I haven't with this one. But that's three clues. So we do get three item A cards. Does that mean I need to shuffle? Do I shuffle the deck or do I... No, I'll shuffle it. I'll shuffle it and then do it. Okay, so the top three cards. Hanging bullets, a kerosene container and a red herb. So the red herb and the hanging bullets go in the item box. The kerosene token goes back in, sorry, the kerosene card goes back into the A deck and we shuffle it back up. Okay. Kenneth is going to join Rebecca and the supply one gets shuffled back in. So that narrative card we drew earlier, the, was it the architect's diary? Basically, Null and void. <laughs> okay, so that was Jill's turn. It is now Chris's turn. Let me just move the camera back. Oh yes, I forgot to uh, mention that my microphone did die. I'll uh, put a timestamp during editing when it died. Okay, so it's Chris's turn. Chris is going to use a kerosene to burn this corpse up. Um. Actually, no, I won't. I can use that to reload my flamethrower. So I'll let Jill burn that because she still has a kerosene token. So one, two, three. Um, I can't unlock that yet, so that's fine. Nothing's reacting. We're drawing an attention card. It is tragic echoes. So this zombie down here that we left on his own gets an A token. Okay. It is. Ooh. Now Jill's turn. Jill's going to burn this zombie. Discarding her final kerosene token. Okay. Um, so that was one. Two, three, four. Here yeah, next to Wesker. Just spit on his corpse. <laughs> I know what you did. Attention card. Crimson Rage. Closest corpse. There isn't a closest corpse. So we're drawing two additional attention cards. All clear, and all clear. Oh, that's, that's both of those asterisk symbols again. They, they got shuffled back together. <laughs> okay, um, back to Chris. Chris is going to take the key from Jill for one. Give me that key. Two, he's going to use it to open the door. Bum, bum, bum. Get rid of those. Um, three, do I want to enter? Uh, yes, yeah, we will. My well. uh, So that was one to take the key, two to unlock the door, three to move in. So I will be back momentarily. Okay, it is uh, a little bit dark. My light won't reach. But uh, this is actually the power room. We only need to get into here and we are done. So, up there. So that was one to open the uh, one to take the key, two to open the door, three I moved in, didn't I? And then we do have a yellow encounter. That was the postman, if you heard that. I don't think the microphone would have picked that up. So we do get an encounter card. It is a Cerberus right in front of Chris. So Chris's final action. He's gonna use his flamethrower. Down from five down to four. It's two blue. That is a push to the dog dead. <laughs> okay, right then, that was the end of Chris's turn. Nothing is alive to react. We draw an attention card. It is. Oh, can the camera see that? It can. All clear. Okay, it's Jill's turn. One, two, three, four to open this door. Draw an attention card, it is all clear. Chris's turn, one, two, three, four, to loot this A token, Ooh, A item, dropped on the floor. We are getting a, oh, a stun gun. Chris is getting a stun gun, okay. Um, attention card, all clear. Jill's moving in, and we are done. 
Uh, I'm not sure if we lose Richard and Wesker, or they get back up there. I'll have to quickly look in the rule book. Yes, we are done. Okay, I just had a quick look in the rule book, and apparently we failed the scenario because we have no first aid sprays available to us. And, <laughs> yep. So, apparently it's a fail. I'm not going to take it as a fail because I'm going to continue. Because if it was a fail, I would have failed the where, uh, the warehouse, warehouse B, guard house B scenario where I used the the herb, the, the red green mix to heal Chris when he went unconscious. But yeah, I'm not going to fail it. We finished it. We're moving on to lab B. So yes. Oh, that was a tough one. So Wesker and Richard will go on to danger. Um, Chris and Jill will go. Chris is on. Chris is on one from fine. Jill's on one from fine. And then Wesker and Richard are on danger. Okay, so thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please let me know in the comments. If you'd be as kind as to leave me a thumbs up, that's always appreciated. Until next time, take care everyone, and goodbye for now.